Hello and welcome to a ARMA 3 tutorial on how to set up Task Force Radio uh, and an alternate channel in order to have two frequencies functioning at the same time. Um, let's salute the flag because that's how we do. Um, first, make sure you have a radio on you, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one. You only need one radio for this, and that's that's kind of why I like it. So um, let's begin, and I'll try to make it as simple and straight to the point as I can. Bring up your radio. Um, this will be channel one for your fire team net. Uh, now, before I get started, actually, I want to um, make the point that if you use your numpad press 1 on your numpad goes to channel 1 on your radio, you can see on the bottom right. Press 2 on your numpad, you go to channel 2. So it's important that whenever you're not using your radio, as in not on this, make sure that you press 1 on your numpad to set it to channel 1. Okay? So first, go into your radio. Uh, right now this there's a bug here where it's blacked out um, this is because of an update probably be fixed soon so we want to put our fire team net on first so you highlight it and put in your fire team net in this case it's going to be 211.2 now before you hit enter uh, go down here to stereo settings click on it until you see left only I'll tell you why in a minute. Then you hit enter. And if I hit escape, um, press caps lock and you'll see that I'm transmitting on channel 1 frequency 211.2. Okay, now go back into your radio. Okay, next we're going to set the additional channel. So basically you want to go to channel 2 where you click on the plus sign here to next channel that switches it to channel 2 and to set an additional channel we just click on the set additional channel okay and then highlight your number here and type in 51 okay now go to your stereo settings make it right only you can see additional right only leave it just like that and make sure you hit enter set frequency okay now when you exit out of your radio like I said make sure you're always on channel 1 using the numpad 1 okay so now we're back on 1 and when you transmit using caps lock it's going to transmit on channel 1 and if you hold T, as in Tango, on your keyboard, it'll transmit on the other additional channel, frequency 51. Okay, so it's that simple. Um, when someone transmits to you, you'll hear it. If someone transmits on your fire team net on 211.2, they'll you'll hear it on your left ear. When someone transmits on squad net, you'll hear it on your right ear, and that's what the left and right uh, functions are for. I don't have anybody here to demonstrate that, but just trust me. Okay, so <coughs> that's it. If you're only here for that tutorial on setting additional channel, you can exit the video. If you're on my fire team, keep watching. Now the reason why I had you set the additional channel on 5.1 is because no one's going to be using that channel. So keep it on 5-1 when you're doing your loadout. When we're on the battlefield and in the situation where I go down, right, since you're 2IC, you'll be accessing your radio. You'll be switching to next channel. You're going to hit set additional. No, don't hit a set additional because it's already on there. So it's already on 5-1. So when I go down, you switch to 211, which is our squad net. Then hit enter. Okay, so don't switch to squad net until I go down, because you don't want to be on there the whole time. Um, that's just 
my rule. So <clears throat> now if you switch back to uh, 1 on the numpad, it'll switch to channel 1. Caps lock should do the fire team net, and then T is in tango, will transmit on squad net. Okay, so that's that's what you do. Uh, make sure you're on channel uh, the squad net. Uh, report it up. What you're going to want to do is report the situation. Um, make sure there, there's no enemy contacts in the area before you start messing with your radio. What I want you to do is actually tell the other teammates to get pull security. So have one, you know, covering south and the other covering north. And you're going to be over my body. And you're going to you're going to um, transmit on the radio first. Switch your radio over to 211. And you say, uh, <coughs> "Actual, this is 11 Bravo. I'll copy." And then he'll send it back. And he'll say, "Go ahead." And then you'll transmit. Uh, my team leader is down for for Bravo. Uh, I am at grid location as follows. Break. And you go into your map, and you'll have a GPS with your grid location. And then you'll transmit grid location is, then you'll say whatever the grid grid is. Okay, so that's what you do. And then the, the squad leader will have the medic come, come get me if you need assistance. At that point, after you've reported up the chain of command, go ahead and bandage. Bandage your fire team leader. Uh, and make sure that <coughs> you pull security once you're done bandaging and once you stabilize. All right, so that's it for uh, 2IC. If you are a rifleman in the uh, in the team, then continue watching. Um, the rest of you, that's good to go. Um, but if you are a rifleman, or if you just want to know about using the long-range radios and the MRAPs, just keep watching. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use a long-range radio in these things and you're probably wondering what the hell am I talking about and basically it's for uh, convoy net we're always going to be using convoy net when we're doing our platoon training, squad trainings and operations convoy net is frequency 5-0 so we want to set the radio in here so that everyone in the vehicle can hear it and that's so you'll be able to transmit if you're turning left or right or stopping or herringbone or whatever. Okay, so to open the long range radio, hold Alt, press P. Okay, so your regular radio is Control P, and in these things it's Alt P. Okay, none of this works on the sides. Um, again, it's blacked out, but all the buttons here fun are functions, functionable. So basically, all you have to do is highlight it. And type in five zero. Okay, now it now see it's good that I checked because it's not on five zero. So make sure it's five zero. Okay, um, <coughs> and then make sure it's on speakers so everyone in the vehicle can hear. And then you hit set fre frequency. The only, the only other thing that you need to know is that if it's really loud, you can de decrease the volume here. Sometimes it gets a little loud in the vehicle. Okay, so hit escape to exit out. And now, in a, if you need to transmit, at this point you will be able to hear all the radio chatter on convoy net, which is the main function. In the case that you are the first VIC or the last VIC, you need to call out your turns. So in that situation, you need to transmit. Now, in order to transmit in these long range radios, hold control and press caps lock. And there you are uh, transmitting on 5-0. Okay, so outside and with the regular radio, it's just caps lock. Go inside, control caps lock. All right, so that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you learned something. Appreciate you guys' time, taking the time to watch this. Um, make sure you have are familiar with the setting your radios, additional radios. Um, and be prepared to um, become a leader in case that I go down or in any, any other situation. All right, well, I'll see you guys in, a, in, in the battlefield. All right, take it easy.